guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day's off to a fantastic start. I have a little Sensei haul to share with you guys today. So I've got my crinkly bag here. Um, it is a Sensei Bring Back My Bar season, if you are not familiar. Um, by the way, I am not a Sensei consultant. I purchase all of my products from my best friend, Lisa Roberry. Most of you who have been with me for a while are very familiar with Lisa. I just uploaded a collab video that we did when I went to go visit her on Memorial Day weekend. We filmed a couple of videos together. Um, there is a video up on my channel as well as hers. I will link both of those in the description box down below. Um, super thankful for my friendship with Lisa. We have such an amazing connection and we, we actually met here on YouTube. Um, oddly enough, we did not originally connect about Sensi. Um, she had some questions about something else that she originally reached out about. And so I kind of walked her through the process of that. And, um, we just kind of stayed in touch after that, just kind of casually talking. And then, you know, I, I learned that she was selling Sensi and I got kind of curious about it. So, you know, placed an initial order with her. I was pretty impressed with it. I had never really used or heard of Sensi before Lisa. And um, yeah, I definitely enjoy the products a lot. I do personally think that the Sensi wax melts are um, a better quality, at least in terms of like their lasting power than a lot of other wax that I've tried in the past. Um, you know, most wax melts that I get, uh, tend to last like a day at the most. And then by the second day, the scent has faded so much that, you know, I just, I basically want to replace it <laughs> with Scentsy. I feel like I can get at least a f several days, um, two, three days on average. That's typically how often I change my Scentsy wax is like every two or three days. I used to even go a little bit longer, but at this point, like I just, I, I tend to buy so much wax that I just need to get through it a little bit faster. So, you know, I'll change my wax every two to three days. Um, I leave my warmers on typically from around seven in the morning until around eight, nine o'clock at night before we, you know, head upstairs, I will turn all of them off. Um, so yeah, I get some really great length of fragrance out of Scentsy wax that I typically don't get out of other companies. So I don't, for me personally, Scentsy isn't more expensive. Um, because like I get a longer life out of the wax, if that makes sense. So I might be able to spend less on wax melt bars that I buy at Walmart, but in the end, like I'm changing those so much more frequently that by the time that I do the math, like it's probably the same price as Scentsy anyway. So anyway, uh, it is Scentsy bring back my bar time. And I was so lucky because I got to smell all of the bars before they were ever even released because Scentsy, uh, because Lisa is a consultant, she was able to pick up the Bring Back My Bars from Scentsy. She lives in Idaho, actually probably only about 20 minutes from Meridian, which is where Scentsy is headquartered. So she's able to go and pick her stuff up when she places orders versus waiting for it to be delivered. So she had all the bars at her house. As soon as we got there, I first thing I wanted to do was smell through the Bring Back My Bars. And typically what I will do is order one of each bar. Um, this time around, there were 20 bars released. So, um, but I didn't have to do that because I smelled them all at her house. So a lot of times um, I purchase like the full set because it's a way for me to smell bars that um, I may have never tried in the past. So it's kind of a good way to gauge like, oh, I want more of this or, you know, I have, turns out I don't actually like that at all. So glad I didn't order a six pack. Um, but yeah, so I was able to figure out exactly what I wanted. So I placed an order for three, is it three six packs? I think I, yeah, I got three six packs. <laughs> um, I think there were only five, scents that went into this six pack. So I will say, however, a lot of the, oh buddy, my foot is falling asleep. Sorry. Alf is on my lap per usual, taking a little pug nap, but he, man, this dog, he weighs a good amount. <laughs> he makes my foot fall asleep very quickly. Um, 
So where was I going with this story? Moral of the story is, um, let's start sniffing through these bars. <laughs> Instead of ordering one of each this time around, I did not because I already smelled them all and I picked out my favorites. So let's go through those favorites. The Bring Back My Bars will be available throughout the entire month of June. I will tell you right now, if there is something that you absolutely love, put it in your club. Um, we all know how I feel about happy birthday. It's finally back. It's back, people. So if you have been lusting after this because I can't stop talking about it, now's your chance to finally be able to try it. Put it in your club. If you do not have a Scentsy Club, um, you should start one. If there are things that you feel like you don't want to live without, we can all live without all of this stuff, right? But like, if we want to or not, I guess is the difference there. No one needs Scentsy. But if you really love certain scents, this is a great way to be able to get those bars, even if they are eventually discontinued or retired, um, you can always get them. So Happy Birthday has been in my club ever since I started my Scentsy Club, which was right after they launched the program. Um, this immediately went into my club at the time, and I'm so glad. I just, I absolutely love this particular scent. And um, while I don't feel like I necessarily have to ration it, I have to ration it a little bit because I try to keep my club at a pretty like reasonable amount, which for me is under 15 bars. And I had taken out two of my happy birthdays to put in other things into the club and I regretted it immediately after. Once you delete something from your club and it is currently discontinued or retired, you cannot add it back in. So careful when you delete things, because even if it's something that you already have in the club. So I had two happy birthdays left. I could not e increase the quantity back to four bars until she was re-released. So now um, I do have four bars of happy birthday in my club. Once again, this smells like fun Funfetti birthday cake. It, I, I feel like this scent is so special to me. I don't think that I ever even mentioned why I love this as much as I do, obviously because it's a gourmand and it's like done really well. But one of Stella's favorite birthday cake flavors and what she has requested many times for her birthdays is the fun Fetty birthday cake, you know, with like the sprinkles in it. It's literally the birthday, the box birthday cake that you can get at the grocery store. It's one of her favorites. And because of that, like the smell of it just is, I don't know, it's important to me. It just reminds me of my daughter and it makes me happy. And it reminds me of her birthdays, which are usually always a good time and happy memories, right? And scent and memory is just, they're so intertwined. And so for me, this just smells like happiness and it smells like my kid and it smells like things that she loves and that makes me happy. So yeah, and that's really, I think a lot of what fragrance is about is just bringing you happiness or inner peace or, you know, d just something positive. Like I feel like fragrance is usually such a positive thing and I think that might be why I'm so obsessed with it. It's just one of those small things that I can do in life that bring me joy. So let's go ahead and read through the descriptions of these bars. Um, although this one is pretty basic. Um, in fact, I think all of these that I'm going to be sharing with you are fairly basic, but let's read through the descriptions anyway. All right. A candy-licious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and vanilla extract. I would definitely add in there like a vanilla cake base. Um, but honestly, if you have ever like made the Funfetti birthday cake and bake that in your oven at home and the smell that permeates your kitchen after baking that particular cake is exactly what this bar smells like. And if you love that scent, get it. That's a lot of time to talk about one particular scent, but she is worth it and I'm telling you, put it in your club or don't. I mean, you don't have to do anything, but just don't come back and say, can I buy some bars off of you? Because I have had people like <laughs> ask me that. Uh, I'm never gonna sell anything that's in my club because I don't have nearly enough of it. So sorry, I'm not sharing. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find your own man. Um, I'm, I'm sure there are people selling some of this stuff on Mercari or whatever. You can definitely check it out there, but I am not selling my personal stock. All right. Um, watermelon patch. 
So sweet vine ripened watermelon is our official description here. However, I'm going to disagree with Scentsy in that this to me smells like candied watermelon. This smells more along the lines of a candied watermelon. If you have ever had watermelon jelly ranchers, if you have ever had the Haribo, sorry that I'm itching my nose. Like I have a hair that is, I don't know where it is. I don't know where this hair is, but it keeps making my nose itch. <laughs> Um, if you have ever had the Haribo sour watermelon slices, uh, if you're looking for them, you can find them at Cost Plus World Market. Highly recommend. Um, this to me smells more along the lines of that. It does not smell like a freshly sliced, uh, summer watermelon. It, it just doesn't. Um, I love a fresh watermelon scent, but that is not what this is. So if you're looking at the description and you're thinking you are getting a vine ripened, freshly cut up watermelon type scent. That's not what this is. This is much sweeter than that. I feel like, um, it's quite intense. It is definitely candied. Um, I love this one. Uh, apparently there are people out there that think this is disgusting. I don't, uh, I don't think it's disgusting at all. In fact, I bought like five bars. So I like it. Is it going in my club though? I am not sure. The watermelon patch is one that I am not 100% sure on if I need to add it to my club. Um, I, I really like it a lot, but I have to really love something for it to go in my club. So we'll see how I feel towards the end of the month. Um, most of these, I think I'm going to be saving for the month of July. July is a big watermelon month for me. I don't know, just it's the middle of summer and we love eating watermelons and they tend to be the freshest then I feel like. So anyway, let's go on to the next one because we only have two more here. So this is Southern sweet tea. I have actually had Southern sweet tea before really liked the scent, but the performance wasn't the best in the past. Um, it was quite light. Um, but this is a great scent. So I'm hoping this one performs. If this one performs, I will put it in my club because I love a tea scent. Um, so this is a splash of heirloom peach, orange juice, and white tea. This is definitely, this is quite peachy. Um, if you like a peach, like sweet iced tea, you're going to love this. I don't get much in the way of orange juice here. What's the other thing? White tea. Mm, I think it smells more like the Lipton sun tea, you know, like the tea that you put outside in a glass jar to not bake. What is it? It's brewing. It's brewing in the sun. <laughs> That's what this smells like. There's a nice amount of sweetness to this. It's, it's almost like a honey sweetness. It's not, it's not cloying, but it is a sweet tea kind of scent. I really love the fragrance. Like the fragrance is top notch. It's whether it performs or not that I'm concerned about. We're going to give it the old college try. And then the last one, you guys might be kind of surprised by this one. Um, painted leaves. Okay. Let's read through painted leaves. This one here is a little bit more complex and it's definitely a fall scent. I'm not going to be warming this before the month of September. I can promise you that. In fact, this is more of like an October into November type of scent for me. So I picked up, I think three bars of this one. I think that'll be plenty for what? No, I picked up four. Look at me go. Oh, and I only did three of the Southern sweet tea. Interesting. Okay. Well, I have four bars for this fall. Um, it's not one that will go in my club. But I don't think that I fully appreciated this one the first time it came around, but I really like it now. It reminds me a lot of Sweater Weather from Bath & Body Works. Um, I don't think it smells exactly like that, but it's in the same vein. So if you happen to like Sweater Weather, you are going to enjoy this fragrance for sure. This is fresh. Oh, it's so good. It's really unique. It's also a great transition scent into the holidays as well, which is why I'm thinking like October into November. This is just going to be so good. All right, let's, let's, let's talk about the notes. Um, wander through blue spruce, red maple and golden woods. I mean, that doesn't really tell you like a whole lot. So um, I'm going to give you like the vibe. Um, so this to me, 
the blue spruce is quite evident which is what kind of makes it a great like into the holiday season transition for me it's a beautiful tree note it's not astringent it's it doesn't smell like cat pee. I, you know, some people when they smell like holiday tree scents, it, it turns to like cat pee in their nose. I don't know why. I, I don't think that I have that like receptor in my nose. I know what cat pee smells like. I have had cats, um, but I don't think that it reminds me of that at all. There is an earthiness to this. There is a sweetness to this. It's just a really interesting complex scent. The, none of these other scents are particularly complex um, or exotic. They are pretty straightforward. This one here, it has a lot more going on with it. I feel like there is like almost like a touch of amber in here. This actually to me smells like it leans a little bit more like cologne uh, in its presentation. Um, I think it smells fresh and outdoorsy, but I also think that it smells like a personal fragrance in a way as well. It's just really, I, ju I just really like this one. This one screams fall. It screams transitioning into the holiday season. The fall and the holidays are my favorite time of year. I am one of those people I could do without spring and summer. If those never existed, I would be perfectly fine. I realize a lot of people need summer in order to survive. Um, need that vitamin D from the sun. I don't. Uh, I, it could be fall all year round. And this particular scent, while I never really fully appreciated it in the fall months in the past, I'm appreciating it now. And this is something that I've noticed. Like the older I get, the more I am willing to embrace uh, a wider variety of scents. I am just becoming a lot more tolerant and accepting of a lot more the older I get. I feel like a lot of people go in the other direction where they just become more set in their ways and are not willing to try new things. But for me, like I just, I, I think I've come to the realization that life's really short and um, don't, don't restrict yourself. Embrace, embrace different things. Who know? You might be really freaking surprised. I mean, I was like, I remember this coming out the first time and I remember buying like a bar or two of it and thinking like, oh, it smells like sweater weather and sweater weather has never been my favorite from Bath and Body Works. In fact, I don't think I've ever even reviewed it. But now this year, apparently I am, I'm a sweater weather person. Who am I? I don't know, but I kind of like, I kind of like it. I like I like getting outside of my comfort zone and trying some new things and I would encourage you to do the same. You might just think like, oh, that was a waste of my time. I don't like this at all. And that's fine. But you know what? At least you took a chance. Take a chance, people. Um, and be sure to put happy birthday in your club. So as of right now, um, this is my only bring back my bar haul that I am planning on. There are some other things that I am interested in picking up as well. Um, but I do think that this gives me kind of a good start and um, a couple of these things I can mix with some of my other Scentsy bars that I have purchased for the summer. So yeah, it's um, my house is going to smell great. <laughs> I hope yours does too. Let me know what you are most excited about from this Bring Back My Bar and um, yeah, just share your favorites down below. Even if you disagree with me, that's okay. <laughs> We don't all have to like the same things, but um, this is stuff that I really enjoy and um, I would encourage you to check out as well. So Alf and I are going to um, clean up our mess down here and get about our day. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Please subscribe if you are new. Give this video a big fat thumbs up for the algorithm and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.